If you don't like doors, you can't be my friend. It's as simple as that. You know, I'm a massive nerd for piston doors. It's no secret. I absolutely love piston doors. I think about them at night. You know, I'll be lying in bed and I'll just be staring up at the ceiling, imagining different piston door designs, ways that I can make them a little bit more compact or a little bit faster. It's a real problem. You know, and just saying it out loud is a tiny bit embarrassing. But it does mean I'm the right man for the job to make a video like this. I thought I'd help you out. You know, there are hundreds of different piston door designs. There's thousands of different videos on YouTube. It can be a little bit daunting for someone who just needs a piston door. So I thought I'd put them all into one place. One by one all the way up to 10 by 10. Now I need to do a little bit of housekeeping before we start. If you want to build any of the piston doors featured in this video, there is a world download down in the description. So you can just chuck it into your Minecraft world saves folder and copy from there. Or if you just want to take a closer look at the designs. And also, none of these will probably work on bedrock. I mean, you can give it a go. Okay, you're more than welcome to try, but just prepare for some tears. Bedrock edition redstone is very, very different to Java edition redstone. They kind of don't canoodle very well. Anyway, let's get started, shall we? Door number one is, of course, the one by one piston door. We're starting off as small as we can possibly go here. And I've got to say, this thing, it's a bit unconventional. You know, it's a bit of a weird piston door, but it's so satisfying. There's something fun about it. It's like you're sneaking into somewhere that you shouldn't be going. And obviously in terms of the size of it, it's absolutely tiny. It's one block wide, it's two blocks deep. It's a little bit taller than you'd expect because of course you need the pusher down piston to put us into crawl mode. But that's no big deal because I could go through this thing all day long. It's just fun. Uh, if I went into someone's base and this was their entrance, I think that's a little bit strange. That's a little bit quirky. But I'd like the person who built the base. There's just, I don't know, there's something cool about it. Now these next piston doors are pretty much as old as me. And I'm sure now half the people who are watching this video are frantically googling how old I am. I've just completely blown up my famous birthdays page. And yes, I do have a famous birthdays page. Feeling like a bit of a celebrity right now. But yeah, these things are the definition of old but gold. You know, they're, they're old and they haven't changed in years. But they work perfectly. There's a reason that they've stuck around. It's because it's the easiest way to build a 2x1 or a 2x2 two two piston door. They're fast. You can run through them. You can build them in like 20 seconds. There's no weird inputs or ways that you have to activate them. They really are just simply beautiful. And funnily enough, the next piston door actually falls into a similar category. I put this design together many years ago through various different circuits that were kind of milling around in the redstone community. And it still works to this day. And it's still probably one of my favorite 3x3 piston doors because it's really quite fast. Everything is in sync. Everything works quite nicely together. And it's a really quite tightly knit, relatively compact design. You know, I know it's now 2020 and 3x3 piston doors have shrunk considerably. They're, they're absolutely tiny. We are going to take a look at one in a second. But still, this isn't massive. You know, you're never going to struggle to fit this into a build. It always slots in quite nicely. The inputs are in a good location you can easily access them it's just a solid door and i especially like it because now we can use the target block to just make it a tiny bit smaller it used to be redstone would be on top of this thing now it's gone and i feel a lot happier but if you do want something a little bit smaller we do have this design here by jeffrey zoo now this is ridiculous you know it's definitely not an opening or closing circuit i ever would have thought of there are a lot of creative concepts in here in terms of moving the blocks around and things but it does all work it's incredibly fast it doesn't have a particularly beautiful opening and closing sequence, I'm going to be honest with you. But what it loses in style, it makes up for in function. I mean, look at this thing, it's tiny. It is absolutely, it's so ridiculously small. My brain can't comprehend how tiny 3x3 piston doors have gotten. And actually, while we're showcasing other people's piston doors, I can't help but mention this 4x4 piston door by Sydney600MC. Now, Sydney... Sydney is someone who I've been a fan of ever since I started making redstone videos. You know, he has been in the redstone community for absolute years. I've actually met him in person and he's just, he's just a legend of the redstone community, especially when it comes to making piston doors. And this one is, it's just perfect in my opinion. Like it's just, it's so cool. Two, two blocks wide, four by four piston door, everything in sync, everything working really nice and quickly. I mean, oh. It's beautiful. As a piston door nerd, this, this one really makes me happy. And of course, there's links to both of these down in the description. Anyway, let's now move on to one of my personal favorites. I'm sure all of you saw it coming. A nice little variation of the 4x4 piston door is the 4x4 vault door. Now, this is one of my first big successful piston doors that I ever built on my YouTube channel. And over the years, I've refined it and I've gotten it to the point now where it's as small as it can possibly be. You know, this is the, these are the top pistons, those are the side pistons, you can see there's no redstone overhanging it, and there's also no redstone overhanging the floor. This is, I can, I can now not improve upon this, which is honestly a little bit sad, <laughs> because I love this thing, and I've loved developing it over the years, but the end result is, 
is super cool. I mean, there's nothing I like more than occasionally I'll fly through my redstone testing world and I'll spot this thing and I'll just have to go over it and just test it out because I just... I love it too much. Right, before I get down on one knee and propose to this thing, let's move on. And now we're moving into the new age of piston doors, the honey block ones. You see, honey blocks don't stick to slime blocks, which means that you can actually place two flying machines next to one another, and they're not going to interact with one another, which means that you can create some ridiculous redstone contraptions, and most importantly, absolutely massive and relatively simple piston doors. I mean, a 5x5 piston door back in the day was huge. It looked like the Large Hadron Collider, whereas now, they're actually not that big. I mean, if we just take a look at this thing, look, look at this. Look, it's it's three blocks wide, which is just nuts for anyone who's been in the redstone community for a long time. A three wide five by five piston door, that's crazy. But most importantly, it's also not that difficult to build. I mean, if you knew how to do it, this would take you like five minutes. And I've got to say the opening and closing sequences are pretty nice as well. And if you watch this thing working, you can see that this five by five design is actually really simple because it is just flying machines next to one another. There's no complicated piston action going on. These are just simple, if not a little bit stretched flying machines with some nice iron blocks on the front of it. The only downside of piston doors like this is that the back is ugly, you know, and you have to use a bunch of removable objects in the floor, which also isn't pretty, but no, but yeah, the back side of these things is never nice. So there is still some merit to the old school way of doing things, and I do love the engineering side of the old school. With that being said, I'm still on the honey block gravy train. I mean, I love these things. We're now onto the six by six piston door. This design has to be slightly different because obviously we have to push a lot more blocks. So now the flying machines are set up ever so slightly differently and we've got a different activation system down at the bottom there but you can see that the fundamentals have stayed fairly similar between these two and actually things stay pretty similar for the 7x7 as well which is nice you know it's crazy to think that you can now build a 7x7 piston door without really using any particularly complicated redstone look you just need to know how to build a flying machine and then set them up properly and you're good to go. This is just one single flying machine doing all of this. Nothing extra. That's mad. I have to have to do a little bit of extra engineering and some kind of smartness around it that you can see that these honey blocks kind of wrap around and they're pulling blocks up that are next to pistons and things. So it's, it's an interesting design. I did put a lot of work into making it like this and making it as compact as it is, but it's still crazy how simple it is. And the 8x8 is actually in the same boat. It's still single flying machine. Now obviously it's a bunch of flying machines next to one another, so it is actually eight flying machines. But what I mean is, is that there's only one flying machine in the actual mechanism. And this I've had to put a lot of work into once again, just being smart with how I lay out the blocks. So we actually have, for example, these blocks right here, these aren't actually stuck to anything. They're next to the pistons, but they're being dragged up by these blocks that loop underneath. It took me a long time to think of that, but when I did, it worked for the 6x6, the 7x7, and the 8x8, and it means that you can do all of them while only having to activate one flying machine, which just, once again, makes life super easy. But unfortunately, the 8x8 is where we reach the limit with that concept. So with this enormous 9x9 piston door, we actually have to have a little bit more involvement. It still works in a similar fashion. Obviously, we're still using slime blocks and honey blocks, and we're still making use of flying machines, but there's just a tiny bit more involved, especially with the activation. So you can see here, we have, we have two modules. So essentially, we have the top module, and then we have this middle section right here and then that's all being dragged along by this set of flying machines that is down at the bottom which is essentially powering the whole circuit and that means that when we activate this thing to close it we have to power the top pistons then the middle pistons and then the bottom pistons to actually set it all off in the correct way because if we don't do that then this thing won't be able to take off it will just compress and it will just sit where it is so if you watch the top will pop up then the middle section will pop up and then this thing will start flying ready top middle and then flight it was a little bit quick and it's a little bit flashy because of course so many blocks are moving but you kind of caught it with the 10 by 10 there's a little bit more engineering involved with this one i've kind of had to combine concepts from the 9 by 9 and then some of the smaller honey block doors and then we have the same flying machine set up as the 9 by 9 so we have those central pistons the two modules and then the flying machine down at the bottom but then we also have the dragging system so we have some blocks down at the bottom of this piston door that aren't actually connected to any flying machine. You can see here, these aren't actually stuck to anything. They're just sandwiched in between two blocks. So we've got these blocks, which are connected to the top flying machine. We've got some blocks underneath, which are connected to the bottom flying machine. And they just kind of push and pull. They're not connected, but they're kind of forced to stay in place. 
and that means that we can stay within the block limits because that's what you're constantly fighting with, with these doors you know you've got that 12 block push limit you have to stay under it but you also want to keep things as compact and easy as possible and i would say i was pretty successful with this thing because as you can see 10 by 10 piston door i mean sure you need a lot of space underneath it because the whole door has to drop down into the floor but other than that it's four blocks wide there's only a few redstone lines that connect up into the flying machine other than that all the redstone engineering is just in this which once you learn it it's quite easy to build i mean it's just it's crazy how far we've come in terms of door designs i mean seriously if you wanted to build a 10 by 10 piston door back in say 2013 you'd need multiple counts logged in so you could load all the chunks so that all the redstone would work that's how big these things used to be anyway i think that just about covers everything i've gone from one by one all the way up to 10 by 10 i've provided you with a little bit of information about each one of the piston doors so hopefully you have some understanding of how each one of them works and obviously if you want to build them for yourselves there is a world download down in the description just copy it block for block that's definitely the easiest way of doing things but anyway i hope you enjoyed and i'll catch you in the next video see ya today's been a fun day you know it's been really nice just chilling out building piston doors it's been ages since i've just sat down down and built doors and sometimes you just need that it's like a reset for my brain it's like oh what do i want to do today you know what i'm in the mood it's a door day today's a door day today is national door day <laughs> that should be like a national minecraft holiday where everyone just builds doors